You gonna watch Mama do a video? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica Yik from Yik's R Us, and today we have a grocery haul video. And not my typical Walmart haul video, but today we're actually going to Centra. Well, actually, I already went to Centra, but you're going to see what I got from Centra, which is primarily an Asian grocery store, and that is typically where we like to go for our groceries there, for like our Asian vegetables and stuff like that, simply because I'm one for good prices and good service, and this place actually it fulfills both of those needs. So today is actually quite a substantial haul because normally when I go to Centra and do Asian shopping, I usually only spend maybe like 25 bucks or so. And today I spent just over $77, which is quite a bit. However, um, we stockpiled certain things because it was at a really good price and I got to try some new things too. So let's take a look at what we got. It was such a fun time. I actually haven't been to this grocery store in quite some time and I did really miss it because we've been going to Costco a lot and we've been going to Walmart, just wherever we can get the bulk of our groceries, but I really want a Chinese veg. So that's why we went. And also I wanted to find some inexpensive um, bone so I can make some bone broth for tofu. Tofu's really sick. He's has um he has jaundice and i can't get him to eat his kibble and we boiled some chicken for him and we boiled some pork for him and he seemed to like that so what i'm thinking about doing is buying some bone so that i can boil it i have the bone broth either for myself and then the meat i'll give it to tofu so that he has some you know good protein too poor boy he's so sick and we have to go for more tests next week so please keep him in your thoughts off to this haul i got tons and tons and tons of goodies so let's go to start off with let's start off with the meat so these are the two packages of meats that we got for tofu this is a whole bag of i would like to think um i, th I don't know if it's i think it might be pork yeah, i think it's pork uh pork bone and it still has some meat on it so i'm gonna boil this until the meat falls off i'll probably use my insta pot and the entire bag was three dollars so it's a really good price if you end up not liking it's not gonna break the bag same thing with the chicken meat here i mean i'm always looking for chicken stock um and so i can make my own and then for the meat itself i could just give it to my boy now the rest of the things that we got i'm gonna go through the vegetables yes i finally have a video where i have a substantial amount of the vegetables that we like to cook and like to eat that i can show you in a haul video because typically i don't show those i don't know why but here it is so this is my absolute favorite fruit in the whole wide world these are sugar apples also known as i think custard apples and they also have like five million other names but i always call them sugar apples this is slightly different than the the the, the variety that i bought last time or well, the last couple times that i got they were from thailand but these ones are from brazil they look ginormous they look good and so i'm excited to try it i got three just because they're a really good price because normally if they're not on sale they're like I've seen them as high as $7 a pound. These are $2.99 each. That's a really good price. And apparently custard apples are really, really healthy for you. So like bonus there. Other vegetables I got, I got this whole package of beans for $1. I'm planning on making a minced pork and olive leaf stir fry with this. It is delicious. And I mean, all of this only one buck. It's a really great price because if I go out to buy that dish that I'm talking about, which is like Seikwai Dao, I'm say Dao. I think it's called say Dao. But anyways, if I go out to buy that dish that I just kind of described to you, it could be upwards of like eight to ten dollars for the dish. And like this is a dollar plus maybe like another buck, buck fifty with other ingredients. So I can get a whole, you know, a good meal out of it for like two fifty, which is like also healthier because I can do lower sodium and have a better cut of protein in there this chayote i've done a video on this before ginevra loves these these are also known as buddha palm these were um they were on sale for a dollar 38 a pound so this worked out to be around a dollar 50 for three of them which is a good price these are little shanghai bok choy tips they are similar to the white ones that i find but what we really like to do with these i like to cut them in half and put them as a quick blanch and just when we're having dumplings we'll just Put them right into the dumpling stock with the noodles and things it just makes a really easy vegetable for a very quick dinner same thing with the bok choy tips these are delicious also if we get the bigger ones which are usually at a better price they uh, make a really good stir fry but when they're when they're tiny like this 
they're just so easy to cook. Like you can even do it in a stir fry. We do that as well. It's kind of like a staple in our household. The, the bak choy one was $1.59 and then the Shanghai one, the Shanghai choy, this one was $1.38. So this was definitely a better price. However, these ones I find, I don't know if it's just me lately, but I do find they have a slightly more mustardy taste. Whereas the, the regular bak choy, they seem to have a bit of a cleaner more more neutral taste but it has a nice crunch but i like both of them so they're both good this though is my absolute favorite vegetable in the whole wide world these are snow pea tips and they are delicious and i mean yummy yum yum lately i've been finding that they're a lot cheaper than they used to be they used to be closer to about uh probably like five dollars a pound and these were on sale for 2.99 a pound and although like this bag here did cost about four dollars if i did like when i do the math for a simple simple garlic snow pea dish outside it can run you upwards of 12 to 13 dollars and so for four to five dollars just cooking it myself it's so easy to cook and it's so delicious it's like Fail proof. I want to show you guys a video on how to make this one time. My favorite way to make this. And oh my god, it's just it's so delicious. It's so yummy, yum, yum, yum. Moving on. I know this is a ginormous bag of onions. It is a huge bag of onions. What is this? Like 10 pounds? Yeah, it's 10 pounds worth of onions. <laughs> I think I want to learn how to make French onion soup. I don't even know if this is the right type of onions for French onion soup. But for 10 pounds of onions, I got it for $1.99. I probably won't go through the entire bag of it so usually what I do is I'll give some to my in-laws or if my mom wants them I'll give some to my mom and just because it's such a great price it's cheaper than if I just buy three pounds because three pounds is like yeah about the same price about $1.99 sometimes I can get for $1.29 but I mean it's 10 pounds even if I only end up using half of it and giving half away it's still a much better deal now uh the carrots were also a good price these are the two pound carrots I got two bags of them for three dollars and then I also got a bag of lemons for a dollar ninety nine I have been baking up a storm I made again lemon squares and they are so delicious but lately um I've been having dreams about other lemon concoctions. So we had these lemon chewy cookies on the Royal Caribbean cruise boat. I'm going to see if I can actually find online a, a recipe for it and try to see if I can make them for home because Nelson absolutely loved those cookies. And he's not a huge lemony guy. He doesn't really like sour stuff, but he was absolutely in love with those cookies and they're low sugar and absolutely delicious. They are addictive. And I mean, addictive. These, I've never tried these before. So these are um, white grapefruit. They're Jaffa white grapefruits. I don't know if Jaffa is the brand or the type, but I've never had white grapefruit before. I love grapefruit. I know they're super healthy for you. Nelson, not so much. He doesn't really like grapefruit, but they were on sale. They were, well, they were on promotion. I don't even know if it was a really good price. They're $1.50 each, which is like a so silver price, but I wanted to try it. And that's what I really love about this grocery store is that they always have like a lot of different types of fruits and vegetables for us to try. And uh, we usually like to go in and try something new each time when we go. Just, you know, just to kind of like shake it up a little bit. Okay, next we got two plain oranges. I don't even know what kind of oranges these are. Nelson purchased them. Anyways, he, we're trying to get Ginevra to eat more fruit. So we're going to juice these for her to try. And then these are the Ori Clementines that I raved about last year. They are so good. Now, the thing is, these are product of the USA. The ones that I had last year were a product of Israel. Oh my gosh, they're like the best. Cle are they Clementines or Mandarins? Tangerines. They were the best tangerines. I, I can't tell the difference between the three, the, the all the different types of citrus. But anyways, well, obviously, lemons and limes and oranges i can tell the difference between ta tangerines clementines mandarins and regular whatever <laughs> i don't know but um yeah these are ori tangerines and i had these last year and they were the ones from israel they're grown in israel and imported here oh my gosh they're so good we got them from copas and yum they were just so sweet so juicy and just the the pulp wasn't like overly chewy it was just it was like the perfect, perfect, perfect piece of fruit. Besides my sugar apples. So these were on sale as well. They were, how much were they? 
They're $1.99 a pound, which isn't bad. I mean, I've seen them for $4 a pound. So, I mean, I'm excited to try to see whether or not they are the same. Now, if you're wondering why are they in these little white bags, it's because we try to, as much as possible, not use plastics. Like, these are pre-packaged at the store. But these are just, like, reusable grocery, uh, like produce bags that I bought, I bought from Amazon. Um, I'll see if I can find them. And if I can find them, I'll throw the link down below. And I just love these. Like, they're great. They're reusable. They help the environment. So all great things. Thumbs up for that. Salt was not on sale, but I needed salt. I literally have like that much salt left in my salt box. So I just needed salt. These were a really great price. The Golden Rose Thai Jasmine Rice. The regular $15. And I think it's because um, Luna New Year is just around the corner. They're on sale for $8.88 because the number eight is a very good number in the Chinese language. It's like thought, or it sounds very similar to thought, which is like prosperity or like wealth and good fortune. And we ended up getting two bags of these because we go through a lot of rice in our household and it was a good price. So we stocked up on that. This will last us for quite some time. So awesome possum. Ketchup, because we needed ketchup, it was also on sale. I was going to stock up on it until I looked at the actual due date. It's due in March. I'm sure it's, it's the best before date is March, but I'm sure it'll be fine for a little bit time afterwards. But I do use um, ketchup in my marinade sometimes, and so I was running low. This was not on sale. This is one of the only yogurts I will ever, ever, ever pay full price for. It is delicious. Oh my gosh. Blueberry lavender yogurt. If you have not tried blueberry lavender yogurt, I highly recommend that you try blueberry lavender yogurt. It is mind blowing. It is so good. And I've ever only found it like that combination through this Lao Beijing, Lo, Lo Bucking, Lo, I mean, Lo Bucking. Yeah, I think it's like Long Bucking is the brand. And the jars are great because they're glass. And I actually use them for Arts and Crafts with Ginevra. And we use them as little drinking glasses at home. So they're definitely reusable. Oh, the other thing I use for them, um, I use them to start plants. So it's multi-use, which is great. Now going on to the clearance stuff. So we found a clearance section that we normally never look at. And we found all of these awesome goodies on this clearance section. So the one thing I'm really excited about is this rose rice vinegar i was looking for one of the pink vinegars and i'm hoping that this is the right one it's really it's a much lighter vinegar than the black vinegar that we have for the dumplings so i want to give that one a try because sometimes you just want a lighter vinegar to be honest so i'm hoping that this is the right one and if not i'll figure out another use for it i'll youtube it and find out you never needed goldfish for snacks so this is some original goldfish. Now, I know that these are on clearance because the best before date is coming up. So these are products that we'll use first. So there's this. There's also a box of rock sugar. We use this for when I make uh, sweet dessert soups and some regular soups. It's really good for your throat. If you're having a cough or if you have a bit of a sore throat, I poach my pears with this and it's really yummy with some ginger. I'll put the link, um, I'll link it up here. Uh, it's from my other channel, the Dancing Avon Lady channel, when I used to do cooking videos on there. But I do have a, um, a sweet soup recipe there that's really great for the winter and is really good for coughs and colds. Now, yes, I bought three boxes of bear paws. Geneva loves bear paws. The best before date is in June. And so I figured, okay, there's six packs in here, which means that there's 18 in total. That's about another 20 weeks of school. So she usually goes through about one pack a week because I do it as a treat for her. So if she goes through one pack a week, I'm good. I'll get done through them before the end of June, which is not a problem. And so, yeah, that is my haul, my friends. It's a pretty, pretty awesome possum haul. I'm quite happy with it. So I want to know, what is your favorite grocery store for you to shop at that you can find unique items and great, great deals? Because I'm always looking to go to all different places and trying new places out and like going to a grocery store is literally like an adventure for me. I love going to grocery stores. I don't know. I love to cook and we love to eat. So it's like the perfect date night for me. I'm so easily pleased. <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah, let me know in the comments down below. What are some of your favorite grocery stores or what is something that you have tried lately that's brand new that you found at your local grocery store that you can share with me so I can look for it in mine. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you haven't yet, make sure you do jump over to my The Dancing Avon Lady channel so you can check out all of my beauty review videos as well as check out some of our dance adventures. If you're new to this channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I haven't quite figured out my upload schedule yet for this channel, but I am working on it. I promise you I am working on it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you love haul videos, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.